Zeus was anything but a gentleman. From taking women by force to taking their husband's form to sleep with them, he had it all. One such story was his encounter with Alcmene, the granddaughter of the hero Perseus. Alcmene grew up to become one of the most beautiful women of Greece, but with this beauty also came wisdom. And it was these traits that made her cousin, Amphitryon, marry her. However, the beauty of Alcmene also attracted the attention of Zeus, and so Zeus came to Thebes to have his way with her, a few days before Amphitryon was due to return. Zeus disguised himself as Amphitryon and returned with news of his victory at the war and trinkets from it. Alcmene was convinced that it was her husband. Impressed by his victory, she decided to reward him with sex. Then Zeus slept with her for three nights and, of course, made her pregnant. A few days later, Amphitryon returned and slept with Alcmene too, making her double pregnant. Amphitryon was later told by Tiresias that Zeus had enjoyed his wife for three nights pretending to be him, following which he never slept with his wife again out of fear of the god's jealousy. When the time came for Alcmene to give birth to Zeus's son, the supreme deity declared that a descendant of Perseus would be born on a specific day, and that this kid would rule over Mycenae. Hera heard the news and, enraged by her husband's adultery, resolved to take advantage of her husband's statement. Hera would instruct Ilithia, the Greek goddess of childbirth, to stop Alcmene from giving birth. And for seven days and seven nights, Alcmene was in pain as she tried to give birth to her son. Later, Galanthus, a handmaiden of Alcmene, helped distract Alethea, and finally, Heracles was born. Alcmene and Amphitryon were fearful of the anger of Hera, for now both were convinced that Alcmene's firstborn was the son of Zeus. It was decided that Heracles would be exposed in a field outside of Thebes, but before any harm could come to the kid, he was found. The finders, however, were not hunters or shepherds, but Athena and Hera. Taken by the child, Athena, perhaps out of mischief, persuaded Hera to suckle the child, Hera of course being unaware of whom the kid was. Athena would then take the babe back to Alcmene to raise her son. Amphitryon and Alcmene raised their children well, but Alcmene became a widow when Heracles was still a teenager since Amphitryon died in the war between Thebes and the Minions. Alcmene would later remarry with Radamanthes, the son of Zeus in Europa. When she died of old age, Zeus had Hermes steal away the body, replacing it with a statue, which Hermes transported to the island of the Blessed, where Alcmene was reinvigorated and became the eternal wife of Radamanthes. Such tangled relations in Greek mythology that humans would probably never understand. But what we can understand is that the like and share buttons are good news. So hit them! See you next time!